Hello, teacher. I am. Ah, yes, there you are. Okay, so hello, Jason. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so I'm very glad to see you again. Why is it rainbow in your picture, Jason? Um, the, I don't know. Uh, okay. Can you please turn on your camera this time? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, hello, Jason. I'm very happy to see you again. How are you today? Mm, today I'm fine. Oh, yeah. We have the same. <laughs> Uh, virtual yes. background. Yes. Okay. Did you go to your school today? Mm, no. Ah, okay. So how about pet holiday, Jason? When is the pet holiday in Vietnam? Mm, it is uh, Happy New Year. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Happy New Year. Did you celebrate that one? Mm, yes. Okay, so how do you celebrate Pet Holiday? I forget it. Ah, you forgot. Okay. How about the weather in your city? Is it cloudy day or a sunny day, Jason? Mm, it's cloudy day and sunny day. Ah, yes. Okay, so here, uh, recently it's very hot, but now the weather is so good because it's cloudy right now. Yes. Okay, so now, Jason, are you ready to continue our lesson? Mm, yes, too. Okay, so this time we will continue our lesson in Unit 1 entitled Family and Friends. Okay, so last time we ended up with Family Tree. Is this right? Yes. Okay, so before we proceed with the next slide, let's have a short review. Mm, okay, yes. so... Who is Martin and Lisa? Mm, Martin and Lisa is a grandparent of um, Mike and Tay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so when we say grandparent, no, 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 no. Okay. Martin. Of you mean grandparent? Of Bobby, Harry, and Mia. Yes, that is correct. Parent of? Mike and Tom. Yes, very good. Jason, how about Jessica? Who is Jessica? Jessica is the son of Sophie. Is Jessica the son of Sophie? Mm. Yes. Okay. Is it a son or a daughter? A daughter. Yes. You say it again. Daughter. Daughter. Okay. Very good, Jason. How about Poppy? Who is Poppy? Poppy is... Poppy is daughter of Tom and Claire. Okay, so very good, Jason. This is my last question. What is the relationship between Mia and Jessica? Yes. What is the relationship of Mia and Jessica? Mm, they are... They are... Mm, it starts with letter C. C. Yes. Do you know the answer? No. 
Okay, so this is cousins. Cousin. Yes. Okay, so again, what is the relationship of Harry and Jessica? Harry yes. and Jessica. Uh, it's cousin. That is correct. Okay, very good, Jason. So now, do you have any clarification to teacher AM? No. Okay, so now let's proceed with our vocabulary. Are we done with this or not yet? Mm. I think we are mm, done. Yes, yes. Ah, yeah, we are yes, done with this. Okay, yeah, also this one. How about this one, Jason? Ah, oh, we are done also with this. Yes. Right? Yes. How about this one? Mm, yes, too. How about this? We, we finish it too. Ah, okay. How about this, Jason? Mm. Uh, we doesn't finish it. Okay, so now Jason, we will start with this slide. Kindly look out. We add in-law for relationships from marriage. For example, father-in-law. So that means, for example, if I am married, my husband's father. Okay, yeah. so I call that one father-in-law. Or... My, or, no, 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 how can I explain it? Or the father, or my father. And my husband will call it also father-in-law. Okay. Yes, okay. How about if your brother will get married, and what do you call the sister? Uh, no, no, no. The wife of your brother, Jason. We call that one? Brother-in-law. No, no, no. I mean the wife. What do you call the wife? That is sister-in-law. Mm, sister-in-law. Yes. If it's a girl, this, that is sister. And if, it, and if it's a boy, we call that one brother, which is brother-in-law or sister-in-law. Okay, is it clear to you, Jason? No. No. <laughs> hot. Yeah. Okay, so for example, um, I will make it here. What's the name of your mother? Mother. Ah, okay, here. No, 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 no. Ah, yes. What's the name of your mother? Can you please type in the chat box the name of your mother? The Vietnamese name? Me, or me, you can say English name if she have English name. Okay. I'm finished. Mary. Okay, so let me put it here. Mary, how about your father? What's the name of your father, Jason? English yes. name. Yeah, English name of your father. If he have. No. David. <laughs> Ooh, biblical names. I like this one. Okay, so here, Mary... Mm -hmm. And David are married. Okay, both of them are married. They married each other. Okay, I will put it here so that you will really understand, Jason. Okay, Mary married David. How about, okay, if David's David, yes. David's parents are named Anna and Ben. This is just an example, Jason. Okay. Anna, this is his mom. Okay, wait, 24. 
Okay, this is Anna. This is Anna, mom of David. And the father of David is Ben. This is just an example. Yes. Okay. So what is the relationship of Mary to Ben? Mm, is and Mary, what is the relationship of Mary to Ben? So we and call that one this father Dada. in law. Dada. Yes. How about Me Anna? What is the relationship of Mary to Anna? Mm. Is Mm. Mm. If Ben is father-in-law, how about Anna? What's the relationship of Anna to Mary? Anna, mother. Mother in law. That is correct. Okay. So here I will put again name. If Mary's mother is um, Sam, okay, and its dad is named Harold. Okay, this is just an example again. Sam and Harold. This is the parent of Mary. Okay, let's connect here. Here's my question, Jason. What is the relationship between Harold and David? Brother-in-law. Mm. Father-in-law. Very good. How about Sam to David? Mm. Um, David. Yes. Mm. Mm. Uh, teacher. Okay, so Mary, I Sam is the mother of Mary. What is the relationship of Sam to David? I don't know. What is the relationship of David to Sam? Yes, that is mother in law. Very good, Jason. So now Mary have a sister. Okay. Name. Oh, give me one name. Okay, here. Rose. And he she have a brother named Tom. Okay, this is the siblings. These are the siblings of Mary. Okay, I will put it here again. This is the siblings of Mary. I think this one is not correct. Okay. Yes. Okay. So who are the siblings of Mary? This is Rose and Tom. Tom. Yes, okay. So kindly look at this one, Jason. What is the real if Mary have a sister Rose, then what is the relationship of David to Rose? In love. That is correct. How about the relationship of David David to Tom? David to Tom. David to Tom. Yeah, what's the relationship of David to Tom? David to Tom. Um, this one. Brother in love. Okay, that is correct, Jason. So now, is it clear to you what is father in law and brother in law? Um, yes. Okay. So now, Jason, let's proceed here in part B. I'm going to erase this one now. 
we add step. Okay, look at this word step for relationships from remarriage. When we say remarriage, Jason, that is married again. For example, oh, where is our example here? I will not erase this. Oh. Okay, this is Sam. Let me put it here, Ben. Anna, what's this? Mary, where is Mary? Oh, no, 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 no. Here, Mary. Wait for a while, Jason. Okay, here, let me erase this. David is here. Okay. Okay, let me make again lines for them. This is Sam and Harold who, are, who have children, Rose, Tom, and Mary. Okay, Mary. Oh. Ah, oh, wait, 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 not this one. Ooh, okay. Here. Sam and Harold are the parents of Rose, Tom, and Mary. Then Mary married to David. Okay, so let's connect this one. Mary Dave, married to David. Then Ben and Anna are the parents of David. Okay. So look at Mary and David. They are married. Is it right, Jason? Yes. Okay. So when we say remarriage, that means that David, okay, example, David found another girl and married that. Okay. And married that girl. For, for example, David found um, Leah. Yes, David found Leah and they are now married. Right. Okay. Remarried. I will label this remarried. Remarried. Oops. Okay, so that means Leah is the second wife of David. Okay, Mary and David, while, while they are still in couple, they have child named... Okay, for example, Jason. <laughs> okay, I'll put your name here. That is Jason. Who is Jason? That is the... Mm. No, <laughs> okay, you. For example, that is you. You are the child of Mary and David. Yeah. Okay, so this is the child of Mary and David, let me put, oh, okay, let me draw a line here. Okay. Mary and David have a child, which is Jason. Then here's the question. What is the relationship of Jason to Leah? Leah. Because David is remarried with Leah. What is the relation, your relationship with Leah? You call that one stepmother. Oh, stepmother. Yes, okay. 
So, because your father, David, remarried to Leah, so you call Leah what? What do you call Leah? Leah is your... What do you call Leah, Jason? Yes. Who is Leah to you? That Leah, is your... Uh, stepmother. Yes, okay. So do you understand, Jason, about stepmother? Yes. yes. Okay. So now we have stepsister. So this is your stepfather's daughter, your stepmother's daughter. Okay, so here let's put another line. David and Leah remarried. Okay, they are married now. David and Leah have a child named... Um, Claudi, I know Clau, Claudine. Okay, so here they have a child named Claudine. So, what is your relationship to Claudine, Jason? Yes. Yes. Okay, what's your relationship to, to Claudine? That is step... Step-sister. Yes, step-sister. Do you now understand, Jason? Do you now understand? Yes. Okay, so kindly look at this one again. I'm going to ask you if you really understand. Who is... The father-in-law of David. Yes. Kindly look at this one, our illustration. Who is the father-in-law of David? Father-in-law of David is... Um, it is Aaron. Very good. How about Mary? Who is the mother-in-law of Mary? Miss Anna. Very good, Jason. Okay, now let's proceed with the brother-in-law. Who is the brother-in-law of David? Mother-in-law of David is Sam. What? Sam. No, no, no. Who is the brother, this one, brother-in-law uh, of David? Is, uh, is, is Rose? Rose is the sister-in-law. Uh, Tom. Yes, that is Tom. Okay. How about Jason? Who is the stepmother of Jason? Is Lid. What? Is Lid. Okay, that is Lead. Leia. How about Claudine? What is the relationship of Jason and uh, Jason to Claudine? Is Stepsister. Yes, that is stepsister. How about if Claudine have a brother named Jerry? Okay, so what is the relationship of Jason to Jerry? Stepbrother. Yes, that is correct, Jason. Okay, so why is it that, Jace, that Jason call Jerry stepbrother? Do you know? Because Jerry is son of David and Leah. Yes, because Jerry is the son of 
your stepmother, Leah. Yeah, because Leah is yeah. your stepmother. But this is just yes. an example, Jason. Okay, so do you have any question about stepmother and stepsister? No. Okay, so now let's proceed with our next slide. Here, kindly look at this one. We add great. To refer to the generation before. Okay, great grandfather, which is your mother's grandfather or your yes. father's grandfather, then great uncle, which is your mother's uncle or your father's uncle. Okay, so let's put on the let's have this illustration again. Let me erase first. Okay, so that is great grandfather. Okay, Sam and Harold are children of, wait, this is, example, um, Granny. And here, no, 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 no. This is Leon. Leon and... Leon and name of a girl... An. Okay. Can you look at this one, Jason? Leon and Ann are the parents of Sam and Harold, which is Mary's parents. Okay. So who is the great grandfather? I wait. <laughs> who is the grandfather of Mary? Yes. Mary, here. Mary is the daughter of Sam and Harold. Ah, oh, wait, wait. How can I explain this one? Okay, here, can you look at Leon? Leon is a boy, okay, and Anne is a girl. They have children, which is, I know, Leon and Anne have children. Wait, here, I will put it here. Okay. Let me erase this one. Yes. Wait for a while, Jason. Mm -hmm. Are you now confused? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, let, let me make it simple. I will erase this one. Leon and Anne are couple okay they are married and they have children which is sam sam yes that is sam okay then sam married to harold right yes yes sam and harold have children again. They are Rose, Tom, and Mary. Okay. So who is the grand grandmother of Rose? Yes. Who is the grandfather grandmother of Rose and Mary? Grandfather of Ross and Mary is uh, Leon. Very good. That is Leon. Okay. How about Mary's grandmother? Mm, it's Anne. Yes, it's Anne. Okay. Kindly look at Jason. Mary married to david that's why they have a child named jason what is the relationship of jason to Anne? this one Anne. is is my grandmother in love no. <laughs> okay, so you are now confused, Jason. And, okay, here, her, Sam is your grandmother. Is that right? Yes. Okay. 
So here, Sam, Sam's mother is Anne. So you call this one great grandmother. Oh, great grandmother. Okay. So kindly look at this one. What is the relationship of Leon to Jason? His great grandfather. Very good. That is correct. Great grandfather. Okay. So now, Jason, do you understand what is great grandfather and great grandmother? Yes. Okay. How about great uncles? Wait. Great uncle, your mother's uncle. Mm, how can I explain this? We add great to refer to the generation before. Your mother's uncle. Mother. Who is your mother? Mary. So Mary. Okay. So here, Jason. When we say great uncle, that is your mother Mary's uncle. Do you follow? Yes. Okay. Yes. So your grandfather, which is Harold, have a brother. For example, this is boy. Okay, that is boy. Who is boy again? Boy is the brother of Harold. Okay. So what is your relationship? What is the relationship of Jason to boy? Is great uncle. <laughs> that is correct. Okay. You call that one great uncle. Do you have any question, Jason? Yes. Okay, what is your question? Mm, mm, the, mm, the father in law and brother in law uh, and, and not, it's not better. What did you say? Father in law and brother in law? Yes. Okay, so let's look at this one. Father in law. Okay, so father in law is Harold. That is the father in law of David. Is it right? Because yes. Sam and Harold are the parent of Mary. Mary married David. Then the relationship of David to Harold is what we call father in law. Oh. Do you, yes, do you understand? Next brother-in-law okay so kindly look at this one mary married david okay mary mm -hmm. have two siblings one sister which is rose and one brother which is tom okay so yes. the relationship of david to tom is what we call brother-in-law Yes. Okay, do you now understand, Jason? Is it clear to you now? Yes. Okay, do you still have any other clarification to teacher? Do you still have any other question? Mm, no. Okay, so I will erase this one now. Okay, mm -hmm. so here in task three, Jason, you're going to write four sentences like the ones in task two. For example, okay, kindly look at the family tree again. Mm -hmm. Martin is Harry's grandfather. Kindly look at Martin. Then where is Harry? Okay, this is Harry. Martin is Harry's grandfather. Is it correct or not? Is it right? Martin is Harry's grandfather or granddad? Yes. 
Yes, that is correct. Okay, so now, Jason, you're going to look at the family tree and you write four sentences that are true according to the family tree. Okay. What's your first sentence, Jason? Uh, play is... Um, play is... Um, it's a... Clear is... Play is... It's a... Uh, um, I came to my my is brother in love of Jessica. Wait, wait, wait. Mike is brother in law yeah. of Jessica. Okay, let us check. Where mm -hmm. is Mike? Uh, this is it's, Mike. Mike is uncle. What did you say? My is uncle in law of Jessica. Uncle in law. Okay, here. Uncle in law. Mike, let's look at Mike. This is Mike. Mike, and where is Jessica? Uncle in law. Okay, so that is. You, you, that is correct, but. We will not, we will erase in-law. Okay, you can just say Mike is the uncle, mm -hmm. is the uncle of Jessica, which is true. Very good, Jason. What's your second sentence? Yes. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. So, what's your second sentence, Jason? Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Why am I? Lisa is grandmother of Harry. Grandmother of, of Harry. Harry. Okay, that is correct. Lisa is the grand. Lisa is the grandmother of Harry. Or we can say Lisa is Harry's like this. So that we can use the possessive, the possessive that we discussed last time. We can say Lisa is Harry's grandmother. Yes. Yes. All right. Or this one, okay, I will, I will, I will change this. Mike is Jessica's uncle. We can say like this so that we can apply the position the possessive that we use that we learned before. Okay, can you please repeat this sentence? Mike is Jessica's uncle. Can you please read? Mm. Yes. Can you please repeat your sentence, Jason? Read this one. Mm. Mike is Jessica uncle. Yes. Lisa is Harry's grandmother. Okay, very good. What is your third sentence, Jason? Um, Tom. Um, Tom is. Uh, Tom is. Uh, this fact is 
Is Mia Faro? What? Is Tom Mia? Okay, Faro. is. Okay, can you please repeat? Tom is. Tom is Mia Faro. Okay, you add apostrophe then S. Tom is Mia's father. Okay. Okay, very good, Jason, because now you try to apply possessive. Okay, how about your last sentence, Jason? What is your last sentence? Rosie is... Um, Rosie is... Mother in law of Tom. Okay, can you please revise your sentence so that you can apply possessive? Rosie is mother in law of Tom. Okay, this is correct. Let's revise this one. Rosie is Tom's mother in law. Yes. yes okay this is how we do possessive send possessive what do we call that one let me check i think that is possessive noun where is it ah this one possessives kindly look at this one jason we add s to a name or noun to show possession or a family relationship just like my cousin's husband okay like that jason Yes. Okay, so now, Jason, this is my last question for you in this task. Okay, how about Mia and Jessica? Can you please make a sentence mm -hmm. for Mia and Jessica? Mia um, uh, is... Mia uh, is... Uh, Pizza. What did you say? Yeah, is teacher. Teacher. Sister. 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 Ah, is the sister. Um, in love of Jessica. Is this your final answer, Jason? Mm, I don't know. Okay, let's review. Tom is married with Claire. Okay, they have children, Mia, Harry, and Puppy. Okay, Claire, which is the mother of Mia, have two sisters. Which I that is that okay. Their name are Liz, Liz and Sophie. Okay, while well, Sophie have a child named Jessica. Okay, so mm -hmm. kindly look at Mia and Jessica. What is their relationship? Because Mia... Cousin. Okay, very good. That is correct. What's your sentence now, Jason? Mia is Jessica's... Mm -hmm. Is the Jessica cousin? Okay, that is cousin. Very good, Jason. Okay, yeah. so I am very happy to see that you really learned um the relationship. I oh okay, you that you really learned family members when you look at the family tree. Okay, so now Jason. That is a perfect score for you. Let's proceed with our next slide. Yes. Ah, okay. Before we proceed with the next slide, Jason, can you please read these suggested answers? Okay. Nathan is Rosie's husband. Ray is Tom's wife. Jessica is Sophie Dunder. Mia and Poppy are my niece. Yes, Mia and Poppy are Mike's niece. Okay, what is Miss again, Jason? Is it a girl or a boy? A girl. 
Okay, that is correct. Now, Jason, let's proceed to our task four. You're going to listen to a dialogue about Ella's family photo. You complete the sentence with the correct family member, A, B, or C. Okay, so here, Jason, I will let you listen twice. Lesson 1A, exercises 5 and 7. Can I see that photo? Yes, of course. Here you are. Are those your grandparents? Well, that's my granddad, yes. But that's not my grandma. It's my granddad's sister. She hasn't got children. And that's your sister, isn't it? That's Maria on the left. Yes, it is. And that's her husband. What's his name? Bruno. And these are their two children. How old are they? Uh, six and four. So you've got one niece and one nephew? No, I've got two nieces and two nephews. Really? Yes. I've got a brother too, remember? And he's got two children. Oh, yes. And what about you? Where are you? I'm not in the photo. It's my camera. Okay, so now, Jason, would you like to listen again? Yes. Okay, so before I will let you listen for the second time, let's look at this one. This family photo includes Ella's A, stepmother, B, great-grandmother, or C, brother-in-law. Okay, let's listen for the second time. Lesson 1A, exercises 5 and 7. Can I see that photo? Yes, of course. Here you are. Are those your grandparents? Well, that's my granddad, yes. But that's not my grandma. It's my granddad's sister. She hasn't got children. And that's your sister, isn't it? That's Maria on the left. Yes, it is. And that's her husband. What's his name? Bruno. And these are their two children. How old are they? Uh, six and four. So you've got one niece and one nephew? No, I've got two nieces and two nephews. Really? Yes. I've got a brother too, remember? And he's got two children. Oh, yes. And what about you? Where are you? I'm not in the photo. It's my camera. Okay, so now, Jason, did you listen effectively? Mm, yes. <laughs> okay, so kindly look at the family picture of Ella. Okay, the, this family photo includes Ella's A, stepmother, B, great-grandmother, or C, brother-in-law. Okay. Is great. What's your answer? This one, great grandmother. Yes. Okay, so this is brother in law. Oh. Okay, because why is it brother in law sister? Because this is Ella's sister. Yeah, this is the sister of Ella that is married with Bruno. So, Bruno is the brother-in-law of wow. Ella. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. So, since it's already time, Jason, do you have any question to me before we end our lesson for today? Mm, yes. Okay. What is your question, Jason? Mm. Uh, this lesson is so hard, but I know. <laughs> this lesson is so hard for you? Yes. Ooh, so why do you, uh, what lesson do you like? The cat, the previous lesson, which is cat, or this one, solution elementary? What do you like? Uh, solution elementary. 
Okay, so can you bear the difficultness, the difficult level of this solution elementary? Yes. Okay, so is solution elementary enough for you or not? Uh, it's not. Oh, it's not enough. Okay, so thank you for sharing that one, Jason. Let me tell that one to my training manager in Pantado so that she can suggest another lesson for you. Would that be okay for you? Yes. Okay, so what part of the solution elementary that is hard for you? Is it the family tree? Yes. <laughs> okay, but I think, uh, you know, Jason, I appreciate that you are so smart and you, you can easily understand the family tree. Yeah, family tree is quite confusing, but if you can... If you can go through with this lesson, after, okay, the next topic after family tree is, I think it's easy for you now. Because I think this is just family tree who is a bit hard. Yeah, okay. So don't worry because I'll try to discuss that one with my training manager in Pantado. Okay, Jason? Okay. Okay, so thank you so much for joining our class today. Okay, so before uh, before I forgot, please submit your homework, the previous one that I sent in Zalo so that I can check. Okay, Jason? Yes. Okay, yes. thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye. See you next time. Bye-bye, teacher. I am. Yeah.